How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. This is iMovie for Beginners Part 2. I'm going to continue in the series, um, helping you learn the, the basics of how to use iMovie. And um, hopefully just to make it easier for you to uh, edit your videos and get them where you need them to be. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, where I want to start today is uh, talking about how, one, how you start a new project, first thing. So um, let's say you want to start editing a video. First thing you're going to do is um, you're going to, let's see, first you'll be, you probably will see the project library. Um, there's two ways to do it. You can either go to file and go to new project or you can come down to the upper, the bottom right corner and click on this plus and that will start a brand new project for you. Okay. And sorry, this calendar is jumping up and down. It's annoying. Okay, so up here, this is where you start your new project. So you can pick a theme. And if you pick a theme, basically, it'll be kind of wrapped around um, iMovie's different little, like, templates. So, like, in the sports, when you plug in your picture and, you know, your words, and, you know, it'll go along with the theme that they already have put together. Down here, there's, like, movie trailers that are built in and again, you can plug in your information and kind of beef it up. I generally do my stuff from scratch but for you it might be easier just to throw pictures in there. Um, for this video I'm just going to show just a basic um, from scratch uh, video because those are the harder ones to do. So you can click on no theme. Up here you want to name your project. So I'm going to name this test project 1 and then you can choose if you want it to be in full screen or widescreen, and then how many frames. If you're uh, overseas, you want to do PAL, depending on you know your TV format. If you're in the U.S. or most countries, you want to do NTSC because it does. Um, you know that's the format we use for our TV. So after that, you want to go ahead and hit create. And then here's our new project right here. So start a new project, select video or or photos you want to drag in. So now that we've created our project, um, you should have imported some of your videos into iMovie, and that's kind of what I went over in iMovie for Beginners Part 1. So if you didn't watch Part 1, um, check it out, and it'll kind of show you how to get your movies in. Um, so once your movies are imported, though, you'll have this section up here, which is your event library, which kind of is what you use to categorize all your video footage that you've moved in, okay? So I have a couple of videos up here. I'm going to grab one of these. So here's how you move a, 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 a clip from your event library into your project. You want to double click, okay? And then the inspector will come up and they'll ask you if you want to add any effects. You know, you have all these different little options. Um, these are like audio like type effects which I don't normally use too much, but they're there. You can choose to have the video stabilized to kind of help if the the camera person was shaky when they were recording. Um, and then, you know, a couple different things like rolling shutter to add, add the clip. I don't, I normally don't mess with any of this though. Normally as soon as it, um, as soon as it, as soon as I double click on that video, I just hit done. I just kind of leave these settings the way they are. And I just kind of move the video right from here down to here. Uh, this is something that you can explore with and kind of, you know, test it. Like if you want your video to fade in and fade out, you would use this feature right here. You can control how strong it fades in. Now, if you want to change the volume, move it up or down, you would do it in here. So, but again, normally I don't touch this stuff. So basically, when you double click on the video, it's going to highlight it in yellow, and that's what you want, okay? So I double-clicked. I'm going to hit uh, Done. And then now I'm, uh, with my mouse, I'm going to move it up here. I'm going to click down, and I'm going to just move it. Sorry, I clicked the wrong way. Uh, basically, you're going to um, click down and... Uh, why is it not doing it right? Okay, one more time. You're basically going to drag it. You know, so one finger, you're holding down the, the keypad. You're going to just drag it down to here okay and you just drop it anywhere in this bottom section okay so now we have a video clip that's in our project library now we have something to actually edit okay so now that you have a video down here 
you have this section over here. This is like your media section where you can add transitions. You can add uh, your own pictures. You can add your own music. Uh, you can add text. You can add uh, custom backgrounds. So let's click on one so you can see what that looks like. So this is if you wanted to add uh, a sound clip. And I don't want to get into that too much because that's more of an advanced thing. I just kind of want to go to the basics right now. But this is where you would find those songs if you wanted to import a song over. Um, photos you'll probably use a lot. This is cool because what it does is any photo you have in iPhoto is automatically going to pull from there. So you'll actually be able to use that. Um, for your video, so let's say you have a picture, like I have this um, Samsung Galaxy picture right here, I can actually click on it and just drag it right over here, and now it's right next to this video clip, so I could literally go from the end here, and it's going to transition right to that picture, okay, so we have a photo there, and then if you want to add text, you click on the T, and these are all different ways you can position the text to come in to the video, you know, how do you want the text to look when it comes in? You know, do you want special effect like Star Wars? You know, do you want clouds? You know, or do you just want, you know, like a little white bar at the bottom? One of my favorites to use is, um, I think it's this one right here. You can actually, you basically click on the effect and you're going to drag it over here. And here's the thing, if you drag the, the text and all your video turns blue, it means the text will be there the, for that whole video clip. Normally you only want that text to be there for a little while. So I take it and drag it towards the beginning. And only the area in blue will have the text there. Okay, so portion opposed to the whole video. Okay, so drop that right there. And so now you have this text come, come up on the screen here. And all you want to do is double click and you can change the words. Hello, mate. Okay. So now I have my text. You're probably saying, hey, how do I change the color of those words? Great question. First thing, come back to this little blue area up top. This basically is your text. You have to select it first. And then you're going to double click on the words you want to highlight them basically and once they're highlighted um, if you don't double click you can just drag your mouse over it click on show fonts and here's where you can change the font of the words you can change the color of the words and you can change the font size okay from big to small you can choose if you want it to be aligned or in the center you can choose bold or italics or you can go show font panel or system font panel you can get more elaborate more fonts more details um, that's kinda how you do it and when you're finished click done and there we go and then again click on done right here and now you have your, your text in there so let's say we want to see what the video looks like so far okay move your mouse all the way to the beginning and then click on the space bar on your keyboard and it will show the video see that and that's how the text is going to come in okay and now I'm going to hit the space bar again space bar is how you play and pause okay simplest way to do it next let's say I want to add a transition okay how do I do that you're going to click on this next area right next to the T click on here and these are where all your transitions are you have a good selection I think you have about 20 different options so let's do this one, the mosaic. This is a pretty cool one. So you're going to just click and you're going to drag it. So you have to drag it uh, in between two video clips or at the end of a video clip. That's pretty much where you would put a transition. So if you don't have a video in there yet, you can't put a transition in. Make sense? So now we can take the mouse. We can move it somewhere around here. And then I'm going to hit space and we'll see what the transition looks like. See that? One more time. Spacebar to play it. And my computer is a little jumpy. Let's try it again. Put the mouse here. Space. Let it play through. Now, obviously you notice the transition was really quick. So let's say you want to 
slow down the transition so you can see it better and more defined. You're going to click on the transition so that it's highlighted in yellow and it'll actually tell you how long the transition is so far. So it's only five seconds right now. So click on the little wheel and the little arrow and go to transition adjustment. Click on that. And under duration, you want to change this to like, I usually do like two seconds. But you can play with it to see what you like best. Hit done. Now, let's see what it looks like now. See that? So since we made it two seconds instead of a half a second, you get to see it and it looks better. Okay, so that's pretty much how you would add uh, transitions. You can play around with them, um, the duration, and it, you know that will kind of help you with different effects and whatnot. Uh, the last section over here, um, this is called Maps, Backgrounds, and Animated Browser. So um, these are different things you can also import. I don't use these too often, so I don't know a lot about these. But you can use these for video clips to like, you know, for landscape. It will give it a special effect for a two-people shot. It kind of like pre-adjusts it so that it will look better. It takes your footage and kind of enhances it. Okay? And... You can like pull in a background, like I can pull this uh, underground background in, and then I can go to text, and then I can grab uh, one of these uh, like cool designs. Like, what's a cool one? Oh, are... Let's see, there's one where it, like the text like shoots in. It's pretty cool. I always have trouble finding it. There it is, pixie dust. So I'm gonna grab that and pull that one over here. And I'll call this one Underwater, because that's what the slide is called. Underwater. And now I'll go to the beginning and hit Space. And there it is. So I, you, you bring in a special background. You can put your own words over it. And maybe you say, I want to make this... Um, Uh-oh, only videos and events can be marked or favorite, whatever. Okay, no big deal. So... Pretty much, I'm not sure why it is asking for that. It's a little out of the ordinary. But anyway, so th that's kind of the basics. This is, again, the part two uh, of iMovie for Beginners. So l let's say hypothetically this video was finished, okay? Let's say you're totally done, and now you want to import this video or export it to, like, YouTube or DVD or whatever. Well, first thing you always have to do, you have to do what's called render the video. Okay, so what I just did was I went to Project Library, so click on that, and then here's my project, Test Project 1. What you're going to do is you can either click down on your uh, trackpad, and this option should come up. If you have an older Mac, it would be a right click, or you would go up here to Share, and you'll have most of the same options. So you would actually go down to import or export movie, excuse me. So that's kind of one way. Uh, when you do it here, though, you kind of have more options. Kind of press down and hold it, and you would want to go to like if you have if you still have iDVD on your computer, you could share it to iDVD and you could make it into a DVD quick. For you newer Mac users, unfortunately, um, Macs don't come with iDVD anymore, so you won't have that option. Uh, you can opt to publish it right to YouTube, in which case you have to put in your YouTube login information. So it'll it'll render the video, which basically it'll seal it and make it one piece, because right now it's in separate parts. And then it would upload it, and it kind of takes longer that way. So I don't recommend it per se. Um, I recommend just going to export movie. Okay. And from there, you, you can actually change the name of your project if you want, or you can keep it the same. And then you want to choose where on the computer do you want it to be saved. Most people would have it under their um, their hard drive and like under movies, something like that. Or just put it on the desktop so you can find it be around the home screen. And then you can choose the size of the video you want it. And it kind of tells you right here if you do mobile, it's smaller, but you can only see it on the iPhone or iPad. If you go medium, you can see it on iPod, iPad, Apple TV, whatever large. I normally put everything in HD 720 because that's what I recorded from my camcorder and the quality looks a lot better. 
Okay, once you uh, click export, it will start rendering the video, and that's when it seals all the footage and the transitions and all that. It makes it one clip, so then you can take it and upload it to YouTube, or you can burn it to a disk, or email it to a friend, however you want to do it, or share it through one of the cloud storage um, options. So this has been um, iMovie for Beginners Part 2. Uh, there still is much more to go over, so hopefully you're not sitting there lost. But I hope this was helpful, and uh, keep watching. I'm going to try to push these out quick so you can learn quickly. Uh, if you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If there's something I haven't covered, feel free to leave me a comment. Uh, again, I'm not an expert on iMovie. I know it pretty well, so I'll do my best to answer your questions. Um, but I may not be able to get to them all. It's all good. Uh, keep watching the H2 Tech videos, and hey, make sure to subscribe. I definitely appreciate it.